Hi, welcome to Sound and Melodies. In this video, we're going to see how to export AAF from DaVinci Resolve to send to sound designers. At the beginning of the project, make sure to include a sync peep that will later allow the sound designer and editor to sync the project correctly. Once the editing is done, go to Deliver and select everything and let's zoom out and make sure the in and out range is complete meaning that the range includes everything that you want to export AAF for and once the range is selected we go to render settings and select Pro Tools you can't seem to change the file name for some reason but it's alright let's change the location I'll browse for location and select this AV Scratch folder and there I'll create a new folder called AAF. This should be your project name folder and include AAF in the file name so that it's easier to understand and it will change the location here and we're going to export video separately so let's uncheck that and in the audio this is what we need the format is WAV and codec is linear PCM and frame handles let's make it 1000 this allows the sound designer to trim the clip left or right in the audio post-production software you can also render full extents but that will mean that the audio files may be extremely large but definitely do not export an AAF without any frame handles and in the channels it can be same as source the bit depth is 24 unless the sound recordist has recorded it in 32 bit but that would mean that you'd have to have your session set up in such a way that your audio settings has 32 bit as well in the file tab I will leave everything as it is and that's all we need and we can put this to render queue and for our video we go to custom export and again I can't change the file name here but it's alright and I'll render as single clip and not individual clips this will give me full video as one file and I'll click export video and here the format should be QuickTime and codec can be H.264 it works very well with Pro Tools and Nuendo and the resolution you can change according to your project settings and the frame rate also according to your project settings then let's go to advance we don't need anything here and in subtitle settings if you have any subtitles in your project you have to click that and burn into video and let's check everything once go to audio codec linear PCM sample at 48,000 bit depth 24 and uh, audio normalization we can normalize audio just in case if you want and we can put this at EBUR128 which is the standard for broadcasting and uh, theater exhibitions target level is maximum peak uh, or true peak we can put it at minus one and uh, target loudness is set automatically and we can now put this to render queue and once the render queue jobs are there we can just click render all and it will start to export AAF file including a video for us Additionally, it would be helpful for the sound designer to have a runtime timecode included, which allows the sound designer to sync everything frame by frame and also make sure that the runtime timecode in the picture is the exact timecode in the audio post production software. Okay, now the AAA files are exported let's see in the folder that we created and we'll find a lot of WAB files including one AAF file and when the video export will be done it will also appear there as a MOBI file and when it's all done we can import the AAF file in audio post production software and start the sound design process and on the topic of how to import AAF into Pro Tools and start organizing the files and start the sound design there are a few videos in the channel that you can check out and I'll put the link in the description as well and finally thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in next one